Regular Nation, and of course, welcome to another episode of The Irregular Toy Show. Ow! And this is episode 10, correct, Kelsey? We hit double digits on the toy show, and it's only been like, what, like one month with the toy shows? Yeah, the sickness is real, everybody. The sickness is real. (laughs) (laughs) You see a very interesting array of finds. And of course, as you know, we've gotten into the toy hunting phase. So everything that you've been seeing pretty much from, I don't know, what episode we started. Because, you know, if you're watching all the episodes, you hear me talk about it. Because they're with one, you know, in order, you know, yada, 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 yada. Oh, but the hunt, baby, the hunt's the best. The hunt's the best. And, yeah, today, all these were found. Of course, we got them all at once. And, you know, you remember the last episode I did, there was ten finds. <laughs> Kelsey almost died. And we're going to be going back to Books A Million Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Um, but today we were in Pennsylvania. And <laughs> when we were approaching a close spot, before we take our shots, and they get too warm. We don't like a warm shot. We like it ice cold. I like it ice cold. Um, <sighs> we get off the exit. You know, and I used to live out there in Pennsylvania, not for a long time, only like eight months after high school. Um, I go, oh, Kelsey. And she's like, what? You know, she's laughing right now. You guys can always hear her. Um, I'm like, there's a target. And she's like, no. I'm like, you're, she's like, you're going to fucking books a million on what? I'm like, so? I'm like, that's not today. I'm like, it's the hunt. The randomness, the randomness of the irregular meal. Can't stop me. Can't um, stop me. No, you can't stop me. I'm like a fucking freight train. Oh. Uh, and I go, we are so stopping there on the way home. You know, because we was going to see my father. And <laughs> she's like, you can't, can't. I'm like, it's on the way home. The exit's right there. To get back on the 78, we're good. We're stopping. So, well, I'm happy I stopped because I found all these little goodies. My goodness, we got a couple of McFarlane finds right here. Um, two that I don't have, catch my eye. It got Batman with battle damage and his axes. <laughs> We've got Shriek from Batman Beyond and he is a cool figure. Now, like I said, I know these have come out, but when you fucking find them, so much better. And I've got the background going right now, Batman Beyond, we all know where he's from, Shriek. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see this little puppy right here. This is off Imagine Rubies or whatever. The PK meter. Wait till I press that bad boy. I mean, once all the Ghostbuster merch started coming out, it's hard to, you know, just not get that. My God, it's the PK meter. And of course, yeah, it's not the replica replica. I've been to many Comic Cons. I have a picture where I'm holding it, and you find like the fucking. You know, people that actually built this proton packs, and they're like, oh, and they have the real PKE meters. I'm like, can I please? They don't let you ever touch the proton packs, but you can hold the PKE So now I got my own little toy one, so we, I'm gonna show that off real quick. It's pretty cool, isn't it, Kelsey? Come on, for what it was, for what it is, it's cool. It's cool. Oh. <laughs> Come on. And of course, you know my Ghostbuster section, and at the end, um, what's gonna happen now also before I point out the other two and we take our shots and we get into unboxing them. Um, on the last toy show, episode 9, I did, uh, an irregular updated toy tour of, you know, what I did. Why not show off the place? It's fun. I'm a fucking zany bastard. Um, and, you know, watching me run around with the GoPros, entertaining, at least to me and Kelsey. She cracks up when she's editing it. So, you know. Why not? So we're gonna do that because I did add another pop shelf and Kelsey did find an exclusive Chimney Cricket that I'm gonna show you, of course, because I have a Disney section. We're building her Disney stuff. We're gonna do a Disney toy show too. That's coming also. Just wait. And I know McFarland has a couple of Disney suckers that I need to get that are really cool. He has a line. Um, yeah. So, with that being said, there's going to be two videos out tonight, everybody. Two videos. You're going to get this, what you're seeing now, and then there'll be like a little, uh, it's called the Irregular Toy Show Updated Room Tour, and it's going to be for episode 10 because we're going to move a few things around, of course. 
you know, that's just how it goes. Um, and then I found an exclusive Target Pop. Homelander, my first boys pop. Very cool. So now the sickness is now started for the pop. Because now I have to build my boys. And we also have another NECA find too. But before we do our NECA find, Kels, let's take our shots before they get too warm and then I'm gonna make the bitter beer face. I wanna cry. Uh, let's get my, oh, don't spill it. I just spilled it. Cape flap. Cheers. Good luck with your bigger shot. Uh -huh. That's what she said. With a little bit more. With a little bit more. Yup. I mean, if you guys haven't seen my Donald Duck short, go out and watch it. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> let's go. And as you see, this little neck line right here. I came across it. I couldn't pass it up. It's a DeLorean. Um, and we know if you watched my last one. I've got Marty McFly, I've got Doc, I've got Biff Tannen, I've got a few other things over there, of course. Um, yeah, we had to get this. We had to get this, because now I could put it right next to Marty McFly, and that is fantastic, may I say, because I do have the Lego DeLorean, as you guys have seen before. But, uh, Kelsey, you're gonna go take a walk over there? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, wow, look at you. And we're gonna put that DeLorean right near Marty McFly because why not? It goes along with the box. Oh, we are adding to my array of Batman McFarlane. I have an array of Batman. It's different. It's fucking great. And I'm gonna go, go buy that. And today on my toy tour, I'm gonna make sure to put the halo lights in the right spot. So let's open those McFarlane's. Let's start off with uh, Mr. Batman. Another Batman that I have. Oh. <laughs> So, just when I was talking about like, the card collecting and all that kind of stuff, McFarlane comes with all these goddamn cards, right? You think I have a few McFarlane's? People, come here kids, come here, come on. Oh my God. Oh, look, problem is look, so at, bad. look at all my McFarlane trading cards that I have. Oh now we're gonna add to them. Oh yes, and they're actually very cool, yes. I must say. They are it's very cool. Problem. I have no problems. So I have the, the best problem ever. So let's take oh Mr. God. Bat. Really? Batman with battle damage, Dark Knight's Metal. So this is another part of the Metal series. Always have the artwork, but they only had the artwork of the toy on the back. I don't know if it derives from anything or whatever, but I love the axes, I love the blood, and his cape, oh man, love the cape. And look, everybody, I stumbled upon this. I knew he existed, but like I said, I wanna keep finding these things don't want to order them. I know everybody likes to order them. Shit. Take a look at this motherfucker. He is cool. Like, I didn't pull him out yet. I always just open everything, but the, just the look. First of all, come, Kels, come on in. The rip cape. Look at the rip cape. Love the rip cape effect. Also love the purple inside. Digging that. Take a look at his armor on his, oh my god, look at that. Oh, there's a little bit of hair on that. Look at the gauntlets, they're fucking, I love the detail on that. And his face. I love how the different cows, and I love when the cape drapes over his shoulders like that, I think it looks really good. And then the yellow on the bat symbol, it's funny, I think I have yellow, look, check out my bat bat. I have yellow in it too, and it helps it pop. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I think so, moving on out. Um, he thinks yeah. so. As long as he thinks so. So, and then also when you're looking at it, look at, you know, it's Battle Damage Batman. So you see like the scars and the blood, like look, you got it on his bicep. This is a real, this, every time I find a Batman, they're always different. So like, I'm gonna take you on that little tour later on, show you the different Batmans that I do have from McFarlane. But I'm loving his axes too. Look at the axes. Check, check them out. Look, and they have like the Battle Damage on it and shit. So cool. This is such a fucking, this, all right. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm gonna put this Batman, cause I like the, um, I like the detail on him. The detail is really good. I like the look too. He's even got a little schmutz of blood right there too, which is cool. He's gonna be 
on par, honestly, this Batman with, uh, what is it? Mur not Murder Bat. I love Murder Batman. Uh, Murder Machine. I think the Grim Knight Batman. That's like the Punisher Batman that I have over there. Because I fucking absolutely love that one and the way it's made. So when I go past that, you'll, you'll see me get the love. But I am fucking digging this guy. Digging it. And I know Dawson also found him, nerd in many ways, when he was on a vacation. And he was a big fan of him and he found... I understand why you're a big fan, bro. This is a really a cool figure. This is a really cool figure, I must say. So let's get him all set. I understand why you wanted me. I'll put it to you that way. All right, look at that. Look at that Batman. He's pretty cool, y'all. I'm liking him. And I've got a lot of different McFarlane Batmans. He's up there. He's up there. All right. Take a sip of me, beer. Let's move to Shriek. And you know what? Look, he's a villain. He's a Batman Beyond villain. Now I can put a villain next to my Batman Beyond statue. We've got Shriek out. We just wanted to get a few of the things out. Now, Shriek, ladies and gentlemen, comes with two extra parts before we show you the figure. No, don't you know me? There's no knowing. There's no, I really love this character. There's, I love this figure. The character itself, I don't know much about, but he looks really cool. Um, fuck. It comes with Batman Future's End. Oh my God, and he's so cool looking. I've got the, I've got both arms with this one, but it also shows that there's two other releases that I have to get that they don't show on the box. As you can see, this is who it's gonna build. And it's got a Joker face. It's got two sides. Look at that. Oh my. Look, we built the Dark Father. Oh, don't you know me? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we got another guy to build. Yes, we do. We got another guy to build. All right, so let's put you Toy down rehab. here. Toy Rehab. Yo, that could be a show. That could be a reality show, Toy <laughs> Rehab. I think we just came out with something new. I will new. put you into rehab. Come on in and take a look at this guy. Shriek is fucking, he is a, he's pretty cool. Take a look at that. I love that, I love that, that see-through kind of uh, a plastic that they do. Like with the eye, he's got it inside the hands, he's got the claw hands. Love the movement. He is a really cool figure. Comes with his fucking Shriek heat that he does right here. And it looks like the claw goes in it. So we're gonna put the claw, put the claw. Oh my goodness, that is so fucking cool. And it's coming out of his pole. Yo. Don't anybody tell me that this ain't a cool figure. This is a fucking cool ass figure. My God, Shriek, I am digging you. And what I'm gonna do, because I have a Batman Beyond thing right here. Hold on. No, no, no. Motherfucker! Fuck you! No! Stand you! Alright, you know what? Go back there, asshole. Go back there, alright? You wanna fucking fool? You stay right there! Alright, anyway. So, let's get my Batman Beyond. You just recorded that whole thing, didn't you? You're not gonna you're not gonna edit that out. I didn't think so. So, how can I not prop? How could I not get my Batman Beyond along with one of his villains? Kelsey, take a shot of that. How, like, take a, like, a, like a distant shot, go around it. Come on, go around that, baby. Because people forget this. This was on one of my earlier toy shows. My Batman Beyond, my Diamond Select Batman Beyond, my PVC. Are you people kidding me? Like, how do you not want that? Why wouldn't you want to purchase that? So, come on over. Come on over, over. That's a cool shot. That's gotta look like a cool shot. That's cool. I fucking love that. Love that. Here we go. All right, everybody. So you know I'm a showman. We're going into Homelander real fast. We found ourselves an exclusive Homelander pop. And I will always reiterate everybody that you can order all this whenever you want. But if you're not lazy and you actually love toys and you enjoy 
the different aspects of trying to hunt for them, find them, go to different spots. Hey, you never know what you might come into. It might not be something you have. You don't have to worry about getting the newest toys out there. No. It's about whatever your collection obsession is. You know what I mean? So, today, when I found this, mm -hmm. I haven't got a pop in a while. Kelsey got a pop the other day. And you know. Show you. Yeah. you know all the secret toy spots. Too. Well, I don't know all the secret toy spots. You know a secret toy um, spot in Target that I didn't know about. Oh, you mean the other side. Yeah, you know what was funny, everybody? Um, after I found my McFarland finds, <laughs> the two right here, Kels, you can take a shot because we're on another part. And of course, we didn't find him today. He, we have him. He just goes with him. But when, when I found the two McFarland finds, and I'm like, all right, they got no other McFarlands. Uh, they had another one I didn't have, but I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm like, no, nah, I don't need it. Like, I don't need every single fucking toy out. Um, she didn't know about the other toy sections in Target. Even Walmart, too, the same thing. When you go past the electronic sections in the video games, that's where they keep, like, the movie paraphernalia, in a way. Like, they keep, like, you know, um, It figures, or Freddy Krueger, all NECA shit. Um, Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Z. I have some Dragon Ball Z stuff, but I found stuff that they had. And they had build a kit. So I'm like, I don't want to build a fucking kit. Build your own kit. Who fuck wants to build a model? I'll build a Lego. I'll build a Lego. But I'm not building a fucking Goku. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking let me buy it, douchebags. Build a fucking Goku. Kiss my ass. <laughs> so, anyway, I found out of the pops that they did have, because it was a mishmash, um, I found an only at Target exclusive, and it was fucking Homelander. Take a look at Homelander. Homelander with the fucking Superman red eyes. Let's go, yo. Let's go. So now, this inspires me to build my boys' fucking pops section. Why wouldn't I want to? Why wouldn't, I'm sorry, Mr. Pineapple. Why wouldn't you want to? Come on. Kels, take a look at that. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. I want translucent. I want a train. Um, I know that Homelander is easy to find, but I need, I need, I need, I need Billy Butcher. Come. I was just gonna say. Come. Yeah, I think you need Billy Butcher. How do I not get Billy Butcher? Come. So anyway, here we go. Let's pull him out. <gasps> See, I don't leave him out there. Which? Oh, wow. Take a looky. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is fucking cool. All right, number one, that is detailed. Ch take a look at that. And then wait till I turn him around. I love the red eyes. The red eyes is fucking where it's at. And he's got his hands behind his back. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking kill you. And we all know Homelander. Look at the, look at the stars. Look at how they have that too. So like, even if, when you don't pull the bunny out of the box, now you gotta put him back in the box, but that is a cool pop. I am glad to have added him. And you'll see where I add him to the wall. I added another shelf. Um, and then I added her Monterey Jack that I got her. And her Jimmy Cricket that she found at Books A Million, which is a Books A Million exclusive. And it's a glittery Jimmy Cricket. It's fucking sweet. So, yeah. That was my, um... Huh, the deep. Look at how it says the deep right there. Oh. I need to find. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? I just spotted that. I need to find. They don't have the deep on the back here. No. Mother Frigger. Huh. Yeah, make him, yeah. Interesting. And I like the deep. He's funny. He funny. He funny. Might not make shit. it. Yeah. So, that's my pop find for today. It's my pop find. That's cool. Let's move on. Oh, woohoo! We're back. Oh, yeah. So we always do a couple jump cuts, everybody, just so you know, because I like to change the background for what we're talking about. All right, so with my other find, so we gotta move our PK meter down here for a second. All right, and no, uh, Mr. Pineapple, excuse me. All right, so look, like I said, guys, I mean, it's like, oh my God, what did you find? Oh yeah, by the way, pull out my Marty McFly right now. Oh yeah, so you guys get, like, look at the, look at the skateboard. Remember, these um, NECA real toys that I got from the movie, they came with so many accessories, and I love this. 
love this. So you stand right there, Marty. Let's put your bag down and chill out. We found this today. Okay? This is so cool. The Back to the Future fucking DeLorean. This is the part one DeLorean, okay? So when Kelsey and I walk by it and the doors flip up and shit, and there's some pretty good details inside, too. So when I, I had to have this, when I came across it, I was like, oh my god. You know, this is, goes along with the recent purchases of Martin McFly, Doc Brown, fucking Biff Tannen, and then I have a bunch of other pops, of course, and the boxes that they came with. But now that I found, like, it's purposeful, like, replica little DeLorean right here, it just reminded me of, like, when I went to Universal back when I was a kid, so I don't have my mirror over. And, you know, story time right now with the regular Neil, Mother Goose. And I just remember going into the store, like, back in the early 90s, you know, so I was in my life. But Back to the Future was a big ride then. So was the Ghostbusters show. Oh, um, that wasn't a ride, but it was a show. It was a show. And you would go into the store. I remember you would walk into the Back to the Future store and you would have like the big DeLorean in there and you would see the back of it. And it was from part two because that, that was the ride. It was the part two. Um, and you saw like the back end of it. It was like it was crashed into the wall. And I remember getting a replica fucking DeLorean like this size. And, you know, I was a kid, so of course it was gone after like that. And it just, like, coming across this, I was like, yo, Kelsey, I gotta get that. I gotta get the fucking, I gotta get it. This is so cool. And I love the box. The box is fucking awesome. The box is awesome. I love how it has all the years on it and all that. Now, it's done by NECA, of course. Now, watch what's cool, because I opened it once, and I was just like, oh, shit, it's like the movie. <laughs> it kind of rolls out. Like, after you pull it out, which is cool. So, wait, let me get that. Because this is going to be out of the box, of course. All right. So, we've got ourselves the Back to the Future DeLorean. Now, look, Kelsey, come on in. Take a look at the back license plate. It's got the out of time. Come over and come up top. Take a look at all the details up top with the colors. You can see the sides. Front, of course. Da, 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 da. And what I love is we've got flip up doors. Look at that. And then you go on inside. See if you can go inside there. Try not to put your head in the light too much. Put your head in the light. There we go. And then, here, here, why don't I, I'll take the camera for a second. Take a look at the inside. And then you got the little flux capacitor in there. She's in there. You've got some of the deets right there. I absolutely fucking love this. And I love the way that looks. That is so cool. Kelsey, please take the camera. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to give them a little bit of that. I'm so rude. I am not rude. So now what we're gonna do when we set this up is we got Marty, we'll put his little skateboard up, put his skateboard right there. He's got his book bag. Doc, we gotta get back to the future. So now, I mean, come on. How do you not, when I have that set up, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> I love it. Or I can just put his hand right here and I just kick the skateboard at Kelsey. I'm like, I'm just having a that's good time tough. with this. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That was my Back to the Future find, but I just added, uh, you know, 1 16th scale, as they call it. And it's got some really fucking sweet details, as you can see. So, honestly, people, it really is. Part four. All right, everybody. You can see that background. You see my favorite Ghostbuster Egon. He's got a certain something right there. He's got that PK meter. That's right. So it's not like anybody else has found this. I mean, come on, Red Park Day. So you come across it, and you're like, ha, 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 ha. how do I not get that? How do I not get that? And you're like, why would you want to get that? Oh, well, <laughs> why wouldn't you want to if you're a Ghostbusters fan? 
not spending millions of dollars to get it, so of course I undid that. It's only about the packaging. And like I said, this is from Imagine by Rubies. Okay. Whatever is a very colorful logo, I must say. I thought Imagine used to do like So, we have our PK meter right here, as you can see, <sighs> right? So, all you gotta do is hit this little action button and the magic happens. Is this not pure, like, happiness right now? <laughs> it sounds like, a, you know, like a, a heart monitor or something at the hospital. Yeah, well, it's okay. We've got one! Oh my god. I mean, and then you retract it. If I figure that out. Oh, it's got a little belt clip. Do you not think? There's gonna be an irregular Ghostbuster meal coming. <laughs> From the multiverse? Um, PK meter, what do you think? I say yes. I say yes. So, regular nation. Hope you had a good time here on uh, episode 10 of the Irregular Toy Show. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I fucking love this thing, it's so cool. Let's shut that down for a second. Well, why don't you go hit that like and go hit that subscribe and become a part of the Irregular Nation because why wouldn't you want to take a ride on the Irregular Side with me in Hope Productions, Miss Kelsey, the heart of the Ghostbusters. You heard. You see. Go do it.